Hello, welcome. In this video, we are going to learn about XSLT choose function or choose condition. In previous video, we have learned about XSLT if condition. Now this time for choose. So friend, before going to a start, I request you to, if you have not subscribed this channel yet, please subscribe this channel and don't forget to like this video. So now here you can see in the previous video, what we have done, we have added the if condition and based on the if condition, if any if condition is true, it's inside that we have added the value. Inside the value, we are providing the value for this endpoint, for this rest, right? So for this result. So now instead of using if, we have to use choose. So how we will use choose? Let me, let me explain. So first I will delete all this if statement, whatever I have added so that we can add the choose. So here directly I will use the delete target node. So it will delete all the mapping. Let me know why it's not deleted, delete target node, delete all child, child target node. Now you can see everything is deleted and if we will see, if we will hard code any values, right? Hard code or if we directly map the value, this number, right? It will directly map to this result and it will directly show you the same value. So here if you will move, we can move to the test part and here in the testing, if we generate sample values, here in number part, if we pass 10, so it will return as result as the same as a 10 because we map the same value. But here we have to add the condition, right? What condition we have to add? If the number is greater than zero, we have to return back result as positive, had coded value text value. And if number is less than zero, we need to provide as a negative, something like that. So we can achieve it by using the if statement, using the condition. So for adding the condition, we have two elements. The first one is the if we have used in previous video. Now we have a second option is choose. So how we will use choose? I will show you here. So let me first delete the mapping. So I delete the mapping before going to drag any, any flow. We have to create the target node. So I will create target node. Now this node is created. Now we have to add the mapping here at the condition here. So what I will do, I will choose, click choose and drag this choose to result. So once I will you add the choose to here. You can see inside the result we have choose. Now when we are saying that choose with the choose we have to use when not if. Choose when when result of this element right. When result of this element is whatever we want the greater than zero and all. So here we have to add the condition. So what condition when number is greater than zero right done. So when number is greater than zero what we need to do. We need to provide the value. So we can provide the value using value of attribute, output attribute. So just we'll drag here inside this when only. And here we have to provide value. So I will provide value as P O S I T I V positive and U M B number. Right? Done. So here we added the condition. If the number is greater than zero. Like if or when we can simply say the value of result will be positive. Now it's time to add another. So again, we have we have to use, we have already added the choose, right? So now whatever condition we have to add, we will use when for all the condition, just like we are adding if, if. So now again, I will use when and where we have to drag, we have to drag when for choose. So just we will put here and here you can see we have another when parallel to the previous one. And here again, we will drag the value that number is less than zero. So now if value is less than zero, what it means that it's negative number. So again, I will go to output, drag this value and this value will be here, map here in when. So when value number is less than zero, the what value we need to provide? We need to provide values as negative. Right, this is our mapping this one. So done. And in last, if number is not positive or if number is not negative, it means number will be always zero. So in this case, we have in if a statement, we don't have else, right? But here in choose, we have otherwise option. Otherwise, it means that if all condition are false, then anyhow, this otherwise block will be executed. So what we need to do, we need to drag this otherwise in choose. And here you can see choose inside one condition when inside another condition when and now inside that the choose we have third condition as otherwise and in otherwise what we want in otherwise we want value as zero so i will drag this value and here i will map 
नंबर इज नॉट पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव इट्स जीरो दिस काइंड ऑफ मैसेज आई वॉन्ट टू प्रिंट सो जस्ट आई विल सिलेक्ट हेयर एंड नाउ यू कैन सी वी हैव सक्सेसफुली एडेड द कंडीशन here you can see in the for this result and point for the result node we added the value as condition as choose and we added if this inside the result if the choose condition we added when this number is greater than 0 then provide that value this value when when this number is less than 0 then display this value otherwise in else case if this is not true this is not true then in else go and paint this value so this is the simple way we can add choose when condition in accessibility functions in mapping for testing the same what we can do we can generate sample input so for testing the in for mapper testing we can just click here and by clicking here it will generate some sample value here right so just i will click here it's already generated So again i will click here and here you can see number and it's providing the sample value so i will remove this one and will provide 10 so once we provide 10 what it is going to do is that it is going to show us the positive number and if i am going to show you the minus 25 something like that it will show us the result as negative that is perfectly fine and if we provide the zero value right what it will do here you can see when we provide zero it will show you no is not number is not positive or negative it's zero that is completely true so friend i showed you how we can use accessibility choose a statement choose condition otherwise when everything if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and if you have any other queries please do comment so that we can reach out to you and we provide you the solution whatever you have the query thank you so much for watching